Morgan Brennan just got off the call with the GE CEO, Larry Culp. And Morgan, what did he tell you? Hey, Becky, that's right. So, so the actual investor call is now underway. It just started about eight minutes ago. Prior to that, I did speak to CEO and Chairman Larry Culp. I said, if you had to categorize 2019, especially now that we have this outlook in one sentence, what would it be? His response? Game on. So deleveraging, that's been a big focus for the company and, and for the investors and analysts that have been following it, given the recent, recently announced sale of Biopharma, that closed merger between transportation and Wabtech, the fact that they're looking to sell out of that stake in, in Baker Hughes, and then, of course, at some point, likely a healthcare IPO. I said, are you looking to sell or make any more deals, more divestitures? He said, in terms of deleveraging, we like the path we are on. If there are things we can do to further maximize shareholder value, we will consider them. Now, free cash flow is a big focus for this company, especially since we know, and, and in more detail as of today, know that free cash flow industrial free cash flow this year is expected to be negative two billion to flat power a big pain point here we talked about that he said we will have a greater level of negative cash flow in that business this year it was negative 2.7 billion last year that will be worse this year and from there we'll get significantly better in 2020 and we expect positive cash free cash flow in 2021 now just to give this a little more context i think the way culp uh, and the company is thinking about this in, in general two and a half billion in investments that they can control which will decrease after 2019 two billion in operational headwinds primarily primarily renewables, which will also decrease over time, and $1 billion in inheritance taxes, pensions, legal, et cetera, that are all part of this broader GE free cash flow pie and what's putting pressure now and why they think that's going to abate in 2020 and 2021. Uh, lastly, also asked him about aviation because a lot of the bears on the street right now, even though it's been a, a real area of growth and it's been a cash flow generator, a lot of bears on the street think maybe it's not going to be as strong or it's not as strong uh, as the bulls think. Remember, this is a very divided stock in terms of how people are investing in it right now. We had $4.2 in free cash flow in aviation last year. Year on year, we are not going to see a lot of cash flow growth due to the transition to Leap. That's their new engine. Uh, but it's a high-class challenge to have. I also asked him where he's spending most of his time these days. He says he's focused on power and capital, which have been and still continue to be two of the hardest hit areas that GE is trying to work through right now. But we're going to continue to monitor the call that's underway. We'll bring you any head headlines as we get them.